introduction. It's our Yorkshire West, um, it's our West Yorkshire Mayor, Tracy Brabin. Thank you. Thanks so much everybody, wow, it's amazing, so many people here, so many families, so many brilliant banners, no more blah blah blah, I want to grow old, fantastic banners. Can we just have a huge cheer for the Unite Brass Band, aren't they fantastic? The Unite Brass Band. <laughs> Can I say thank you so much to the TUC for inviting me here today. I'm Tracy Brabin, I'm your mayor, I've been in this role for six months, so thank you to everyone that voted for me, the first ever West Yorkshire Mayor, the first ever woman Metro Mayor in the country. It's my honor to be your mayor. Now, we all have our eyes on Glasgow these past few days, but honestly, isn't it amazing to be here in Leeds today, to hear your, your, your chanting, see your energy, your enthusiasm, feel your passion for a cleaner, better world. I'll be travelling to COP next week to make the case for a greener West Yorkshire and a greener United Kingdom. For homes that are healthy, economical and warm. For an energy supply which is local, clean and affordable. But last but not least, and you all know I love the bosses, for a transport system that is sustainable, affordable and of course low emission. Because... Exactly. Because we know what we need. And while the climate emergency is a global crisis, the solution, it has to start here at home in West Yorkshire. Which is why I have pledged in my time as mayor to put West Yorkshire on the path to becoming a net zero carbon economy in the 2030s. Not the 2050s, not the 2040s, the 2030s, but this is not going to be easy, is it? We know this. In West Yorkshire, we have suffered from decades of underfunding by central government, impacting people's daily lives. But with devolution, we don't have to rely on government that doesn't share our Yorkshire values anymore. In the words of the Mayor of Los Angeles, I was privileged to be at an event where there were mayors from all over the world. He said, mayors are the speedboats able to turn the big tankers of national government around. And I like to think I'm the speedboat from Batley and we're going to make a difference. We can, we can deliver a new public transport system that works for us capped bus fares, high-speed rail, trams, finally, after decades, in Leeds. Now is the time for us to take our destiny into our hands. So we've invested more than £60 million in new schemes to get people walking and cycling instead of driving. And now, as you know, we are home to the first ever fully solar-powered park and ride at Sturton in the country. We are leading the way on tech. We're leading the way on leadership. Because also this isn't just about transport. It's about carbon emissions, congestion, and let's not forget air quality. It is a national scandal that here in West Yorkshire, one in 20 people die because of poor air quality. One in 20, it's so wrong. This is not the West Yorkshire I want to represent. This is not the West Yorkshire I want our children to inherit. So all of us, we need COP to succeed. But if we want to stop the world warming, then we need more than just warm words. We need action. Leaders around the world need to step up. Glasgow must be remembered as the summit of climate delivery, not climate delay. We know all our futures depend on it, and I will be your champion making that case in Glasgow for West Yorkshire. Thank you so much for the invitation today. Thank you.